Greetings from the White Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America. Stan Jibalisco here. This is the breadboard, a corner thereof, showing some of the nails that I have pounded into this piece of wood. This is part of the video tutorial sequence for the book Beginner's Guide to Reading Schematics. It has to do with Chapter 6, the techniques for wire wrapping of components around these little polished steel nails with tiny heads that have been pounded into a piece of wood. I'd like to demonstrate for you exactly how this, uh, how this looks in practice as it's done. So here's a resistor right there and I'm going to simply wrap that thing around this nail with my fat, blunt, meaty, soot-stained fingers. Stained with soot or yeah, it was soot from the wood stove. Now I don't know how well you can see that really, but there's a resistor. It's wrapped about four or five times around that nail. That is the wire wrapping technique. Suppose we want to attach another component here. Let's try uh, this big old electrolytic capacitor. Suppose I want to wrap that between this red wire here, which would come from a battery, and this resistor. Now this is a pretty big component, but I can get it here. Am I getting the polarity right there? You tell me. Absolutely not negative polarity going to a positive battery uh, terminal. Uh, 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 no way. Not with an electrolytic. See, you always got to double check these things. Murphy's Law. If something can go wrong, it will. Hmm. Jibalisco's corollary to Murphy's Law. If something cannot go wrong, it will. Now, I'm not going to actually use this for anything. I just wanted to show you how that's how those components go on this breadboard in all of its glory. There's some of the other stuff on there. That green toroid you saw there. The magnifying glass. Now, the trick to that magnifying glass is figuring out how to get it open so I can use it. There you go. That's kind of useful for zooming in on stuff. I don't know how well you can really see this, as I said. Let's zoom in a little closer then. Maybe you can see it better. Well, this lens is not exactly what I would call a precision lens. You can actually see the, the aberrations in the glass. There's the resistor, there's the capacitor. And then the nails, the way that they're driven in, there's some old wire uh, wrapping from previous uh, tests. Two little nails connected together by a short length of uninsulated copper wire, probably about 24 gauge. So that's that. That's how this works and how you can do this kind of stuff in a practical setting. Beginner's Guide to Reading Schematics, 3rd edition, published by McGraw-Hill, October 2013, edited by yours truly. I recommend it. Get it. Spiralbound edition, linked from the description in this video. Until next time, so long.